Hi guys, VST, welcome back to the channel. Earlier today, I made a video about the future of Samsung implementation of GOS and what I want to do with, let's hope, the late March update that we're going to get. Um, I told you, I read on the internet that there is a lot of frustration build up in, from all the things going on with Samsung in the Korean users. And of course, what I do, I just entered here into community Samsung. I, of course, started to translate and read some things. And I came across this post that the S22 Ultra doesn't even seem to have 12 gigabytes of RAM either. And I was like, yeah, okay, I have to dig. I have to dig further. I started to translate. I came up to this video from this guy called Super Roll. I'm going to put the link down below to, to see his video. So I'm practicing and trying to understand what is going on here, guys. But he raised a very valid questions. And you know, I did some tests from the S22 Ultra, 128 gigabytes of storage with the 8 gigabytes of RAM. It was really awful. And of course, I got myself the 256 megabytes version. Okay, and now brace yourselves, guys. I installed some of this application to just show you, and I started to see some very interesting information. Now, I'm not saying that the S22 Ultra 256 gigabytes of storage has only 10 gigabytes of RAM, right? Clearly, we can see installed RAM 12 gigabytes RAM, but the total memory somehow is 10.27 gigabytes of RAM. And um, this is weird, right? Now, this use here LPDDR5, and maybe the technology is a bit different, and um, there are no reports of Samsung producing. 10 gigabytes of chips, so they're like 12, but not 10, etc. They're also 16, but it does get really weird. And I want to show you guys the next thing. There is a tool called RamTruth, and inside RamTruth, I can only see 10.5 gigabytes. So you can just see here, user memory, it's 10,519 megabytes. So I asked my friend with the Pixel 6 Pro to just run the RAM truth and send me his screenshots. Why? Because the Pixel 6 Pro also does have 12 gigabytes of RAM. And see here, guys, he has 11.5 gigabytes in general, and you can just see it here, user, 11,480 megabytes. He also sent me this information in a text file, but it is really, really very, very strange. You can just see here, the device is the Raven. It is indeed the Pixel 6 Pro, okay? Now, I will run the this tool for you guys and I have 10.5 gigabytes and we know that sometimes people divide one gigabyte to 1000 to get the megabytes and it's probably better to do it um, divided by 1024 because you know the, the differences between the byte and the bit and etc right but this is really 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 weird right I'm not of course saying that I only have 10 gigabytes of RAM but it seems that at least one gigabyte is somehow reserved for something else some people claim that the, the MPU that is part of the um, you know, Samsung's latest SOC has to play with it so maybe that's the case but this is definitely interesting so I decided to run more tools to check this tool here dev info shows that I have, yeah, exactly the same, 10,519 megabytes, right? And this is not 12,000 megabytes, so somehow one gigabyte is missing. Next one is DevCheck. DevCheck reports 12 gigabytes, which is pretty much what we expect to get. And then we have, yeah, 10,000 519 megabytes if i open cpu x it's going to be the same and you can just see by the way this tool is very nice it tells you that the ram type is lpddr5 quad channel and total ram is indeed 12 gigabytes but 10.27 right and that's really really weird guys i can just also show you what i get from aida so aida is also showing that i have installed 12 gigs of RAM, but the total memory somehow is 10.27. We can also check, of course, the settings inside the device gear. So if you scroll down to battery and device gear, guys, and if you hit here the memory, you're going to be able to see, right? This is clearly, you know, 6.9 gigabytes used out of 12 gigabytes, right? So I do have 12 gigabytes apparently. And of course, then I have the RAM Plus. RAM Plus option, this is kind of like the swap file, the virtual RAM can be between two to eight gigabytes. But I believe I found the culprit guys and indeed the Galaxy S22 Ultra has 12 gigabytes of RAM. So does the S21 Ultra. Now I'm inside the memory management from battery and device care and see here guys, I have something called reserved 1.7 gigabytes okay and when you go inside your developer options there is something called running services right if you access the running services you're going to get a better understanding of what exactly is this reserved 
RAM and for what exactly? So right now guys you can just see I have system of 2.9 RAM, I have apps 1.9 and I have 3. When we calculate all of these together we're going to get a sum of 11 and something which is pretty much about the same the Pixel 6 Pro has, okay? Now the black part here is the system and this is this reserve part for what I said probably it's something related to security like Nox, we have also the crypto chip and there are things really required to run properly your phone so one UI is really taking a toll. Then we have apps, right? all the running apps which are now here marked in green right and then of course we have all the others which is the free memory and you can just check all this info so there is no controversies indeed the s22 ultra has 12 gigabytes of ram but i just wanted to make this video to give a proper explanation on how exactly and why exactly do we see less from all these apps like cpuz and etc and etc Alright guys, I really hope that you liked this video. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Please, you and your family stay safe until we meet in one of my next videos. VST, over and bye.